You jerks! You think two-on-one is a fair battle? Am I gonna get a double battle? There better be a double battle at least once in this demo, because double battles were introduced in Ruby and Sapphire. That was one of the staples of Ruby and Sapphire, was the introduction of, uh, double battles. You think two-on-one is, fa is a fair battle? And you call yourselves adults, too. Never mind your weird outfits and those stripes. Wow! Smacking down their fashion sense. That's cold. Uh, 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 are we being unfair? And do I really look weird? You nitwit! Why are you acting so shocked? It's fine. We and Team Aqua do what we must in order to help Pokemon. Got it? That means we can be unfair or as bad as we have to be. And I don't know about you, but I totally rock my uniform. Do you see this midriff? <laughs> I've got more style than I know what to do with. They're confident. We gotta knock them down a few notches. Wah! Orlando! Why are you here? It's all good. Let's do this. What? Another brat? F fine then. I'll show you why people compare us in Team Aqua to Mighty Poseidon. Who does that? Who compares you to Poseidon? Is Poseidon even a thing in the Pokemon world? Is Greek mythology a thing in Pokemon? I'll take you on mano a mano, fair and square. Like, all of the legends are based off of Pokemon. Why are you, like, why do you talk about Poseidon? That's Greek mythology, isn't it? You would think Greek mythology wouldn't exist in the Pokemon world. I'm going to destroy this Poochiana, by the way. I have a Sceptile, man. Like, my stats just got buffed from evolution and my level up, so you gotta go. Get him with the Leaf Blade. Get out of here, Poochiana. No one wants you here. Can't live the stab leaf blade, it's too much. My 2-5, my 252 EV and attack septile here. Grr, I lost it. I like your triangle goatee, it's nice. Maybe mano a mano wasn't such a hot idea. Ah, oh, you know, oh, I pressed A twice by mistake. Well, you can probably pause that text if you pause at the right time and read it. Hopefully it wasn't super important. Fine. I, ranked as the 25th highest grunt in Team Aqua, will clean up this mess for you in no time. How many grunts are in Team Aqua? Is 25 a good position to have? I mean, if there are like 100 grunts, then 25 is actually pretty decent. Man, look at that midriff. Look at that midriff. She was right. She's got more style than she knows what to do. Oh, you set out a Carvana. You're dead. You're so dead. Check this out. It's gonna, it's going to, uh, it's gonna protect, get the speed boost, outspeed me, and then Ice Fang and get a crit, and kill me. Nope, outsped and no protect. Crit stab, give me the crit. Ah, oh, no, the rough skin, that's not a crit. Whatever. Stab, super effective, I didn't get the crit I wanted. I wanted the crit stab, but whatever. I defeated Team Aqua Grunt. Screw your midriff. Huh, I lost. You did lose. You did indeed. I didn't think you'd be so good at drawing out your Pokemon's power. I'll be listing your name in our notebook of troublesome opponents after this. I'm- thank you, I'm glad to be there. So beware! Box Ghost, beware! Wait, was that what Box Ghost said or did he say fear me? I can't remember. Thanks for helping out, Orlando. Oh, your Pokemon's looking a bit tired there. Let me heal it right up for you. Ah yes, give me all the health. There, ready for action. My dad asked me to come to this island to survey some Pokemon that supposedly lives here. But with all these weirdos decked out in red and blue trying to go after the local local Pokemon, I couldn't just stand back and watch, you know? But there's a couple of guys ahead who seem way stronger than the two we just faced. It's either Maxine Archie or it's the admins, Tabitha and someone else. Can't remember the Team Aqua dude's name. I'd guess they're the bosses or something. I want to say it's like Marin or something. No, not Marin, like a uh, Macron. It starts with M-A, I think. I can't remember. I tried to fight them, but me and my team didn't stand a chance. At least you have a team. I've just got my Sceptile, which is all I need, honestly, but still. But you and your Pokemon, Orlando. You might be able to win where I couldn't. Don't push it too hard, though. Cross your heart, okay? Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, those are definitely not Maxi and, uh, Archie. You there, oversized brute. Clear the path. We, the mighty team Magma, will be the ones to obtain that mega-evolving Pokemon. Hoo-hoo-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> what, you got a screw loose or something? You see my muscles, all these weights I've been lifting? I'm about to punch you right out of here. Look at you, little Makuhita man. Oh, that's cold. That's just cold. What? what, what? I have never been so humili humiliated. You compared me, Tabitha, the next chief admin of Team Magma, to a Makuhita? You'd better at least make it a Hariyama. Dude, that's not much better. Ha 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 you're pretty funny, little man. I love funny, interesting dudes. That's why I love my bro, Archie. 
That's it, bro. Let's smash it out with a battle. I'm gonna love you to bits. What? I don't understand this brute at all. Frightening. It looks as though I have no choice. I'll give you a good taste of the overwhelming power an admin wields. Oh, sounds pretty fun. Come at me, little man. Hey, I'm here to put you both to shame. Huh? Huh? Who is this? I'm gonna take a quick drink. Ah, love water. Hmm, hmm. Seems like that child's here to get in our way. Making this no time for me to be picking fights with oversized brutes. My friend, I suggest we call a temporary truce. Let's work together to wipe out this meddling child. Ooh, good idea, bro. That's my funny little man. You, me, and our Pokemon are gonna have a real good time later. A no-holds-barred barrage, bro. Ooh, ha ha ha. This one is proving to be quite a handful. So I guess both teams are evil in this game. I thought it was gonna be one helps you, one is evil, because that's kind of how it was in Ruby and Sapphire, if I remember right. But I guess they're both evil in this game, like that how they were in Emerald. Let's crush this impudent child! Ha ha ha! Good kid, now let's rough you up real nice. Orlando! Steven, hey man, help me out here. I'm sorry it took me so long, Orlando. And now I see what we have here. So these are some of the bosses of Team Magma and Team Aqua? I admit I am a bit surprised to see them joining forces. It matters little. We will battle together, Orlando. Before we do, though, let me teach your Sceptile a little something. Oh, sweet, I got Frenzy Plant. And this is for you, Sceptileite. Oh, it's the Mega thing I need. Like, what's it called in this game? Mega Bangle? No, Mega Bracelet. Why did I think it was Bangle? Orlando, put the Mega Bracelet in the key item's pocket. The Mega Bracelet that I just gave you is set with the mysterious stone known as a Keystone. It is a stone with the power to bind you and your Pokemon together in holy matrimony. Forever hold your peace. Ah, yes, and we should give your Sceptile this to hold as well. Yes, the Sceptile Light! Ah, uh, we about to Mega Evolve. Time to go, Dragon. With the Keystone you hold and the Mega Stone Sceptile now holds, the bonds that tie you two together should now allow you to draw forth the great power of Mega Evolution! Don't you feel it's time we tested that power? Ah, I pray you don't underestimate me. Admin Tabitha of Team Magma is not about to fall for any last-minute trickery. Whoa! You two look pretty fun, too. I'm gonna enjoy pummeling you! Here we go, let's do this. Is it an actual double battle now? Oh, yeah, it's both of them. Man, look at all those weights that Matt has been lifting, dude. He is so buff. Camera up and Sharpedo, they're going down. Let's do this. Ah, oh, yeah, Steven, help me out, man. Ah, oh, the Metagross is here. Metagross is here to wreck lives. It's shiny Metagross, too. I didn't, I somehow didn't realize until it flashed that it was shiny Metagross. Anyways, time to see the Grass Dragon of Death. My man, Mega Sceptile, here he comes. Sceptile, like, go! Time to Mega Evolve! Ah, uh, here it is. Mega Evolution thing is still the same. That's all right. Mega Sceptile, ah, uh, he's looking like a boss. Turning his back because he doesn't even do- Ah, oh, the Metagrossite! We got two Megas going here! Oh, check this out! We are about to wreck these guys. Look, oh, Sceptile's so awesome he turns his back like, yeah, what of it? I'm not even gonna look at you as I kill you. The Oko! Ah, the Rough Skin! Oh no, 12 damage, oh no! You're dead. If Metagross doesn't kill this, uh, whatchamacallit here, then I'm gonna- watch. Oh, Giga Impact. He's probably dead. I should have Frenzy Planted. I doubt the demo is over here. We should still have time to try Frenzy Plant. I want to see this Mega Evolving Pokemon they were talking about. Is it Glalie or something else? Huh? Oh ho, that's a loss I can be proud of. Uh, it could be Steelix, Pidgeot, Beedrill, I don't know. I'm just naming off the most recent ones. Sableye? Aha, that was like the first one released with Sableye, I think. How could this be? For an admin like me to lose to some child and a silver-haired pretty boy. M my evaluation from Leader Maxi will surely go down if he learns of this. Oh, you fellows are strong. I can't get enough of you. Remember this moment, child. And you there, pretty boy. Someday I'll pay you back for this. Yeah! I'll be looking forward to meeting you two again. What is wrong with these idiots? Good work, Orlando. That was a perfect mega evolution. Of course it was, it was Sceptile. 
if hel it held such strength even though this was your first time using it in battle. I'm practically trembling with excitement at the lim limitless potential I sense in you. What did you think of my Metagross? It was amazing. It's rugged white body, so cool to the touch. Its beauty grows with Mega Evolution. Okay, let's not let's not go into fan fiction here, Steven. Yes, I think the day may come when I will be able to entrust this Metagross to you. Please? Please? Like, pretty please? But now we have scared off the crooks, so shall we go and meet the Pokemon said to be capable of Mega Evolution? Is it Gallade? Could it be Mega Gallade? It might be a Mega from the past games, like not one of the new ones. Man, look at that one patch of grass over there. Let's go to that one patch of grass. Holy cow, Steven got there so fast. Why was I standing around while Steven just booked it? Look at how long this path is. It's not like incredibly long, but still, Steven got there in no time flat. There you are, Orlando. Orlando, bleh. It seems like the Mega Evolving Pokemon is in that tall grass there. If you were to face it in battle, it might accept you as well. Here you go. Throw a Pokeball to try and catch that Pokemon. I got the Pokeballs! Alright, let's do this. Time to catch a Mega. Here we go. Who is it? It is Glalie. That's even most logical. Because I'm pretty sure the way that we found out about Mega Glalie was through the uh, thing. Uh, let me hit you with Leaf Blade real quick. We found out about Mega Glalie and Steelix through the demo, I'm pretty sure. So I knew it had to be Glalie or Steelix. But at the same time, you know, always leave open the possibility that it could be something different. Leaf Blade again, go! Why didn't I Mega Evolve? Actually, it's probably better that I didn't Mega Evolve. Yeah, because that would have been four times effective. This would have been. And I died. Curse you, Glalie! Ah, well, that's just a great way to go in this demo. In order to catch a Pokemon, you first have to impress it with your skills. When you create a, when you battle a Pokemon, throw the Pokeball I gave you. Prove that you have what it takes to get the Pokemon on your team. Oh, so I'm just sp supposed to throw the Pokeball then. Glalie's base attack stat is too high, man. So I just throw the Pokeball and it's good. I don't have to try and beat this thing. Sceptile is definitely not the Pokemon to try and capture a level 40 Glalie. A, po a normal Pokeball is not the Pokeball to try and catch a level 40 Glalie, especially one that isn't weakened at all. Just stay there. Just stay there. Stay. Yeah, good job, Glalie. All right, sweet. So now we have a grass that goes to grass dragon type and a uh, an ice type. I'm pretty sure he stays pure ice when he mega evolves too. I think Glalie does. Give a nickname to the Glalie you caught? Uh, I could. What would I name you though? Uh, I don't really have a name. Has the name limit been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Didn't it used to be 10? Or was that changed before and I just haven't noticed until now? I remember it was 10 at a time because there was a big deal about for alligator's name being stupid because they took out the O in uh, Gator because they only had 10 digits to work with. I'm awful at nicknaming Pokemon. Why did I decide to try and uh, nickname this thing? Let's name it... Uh, see, I'm just awful with nicknames. Awful with nicknames. Whoops. Let's do this. Let's do this just cause. Do, do, do. Oh, that's right. This is only on the bottom screen, so you guys don't see what I'm typing here. Sorry. I didn't even realize until now. You'll get to see its nickname eventually. I don't know why I just named it this. I just did for no reason. The Pokemon seems to have accepted you after your performance in battle, where you stood there and it ice fanged you, and then you threw a Pokeball at it. Hmm, and it seems to hold a Mega Stone. I wonder what powers might be revealed if it Mega Evolves. Refrigerate Explosion. You will be able to see it for yourself when you next battle. I envy you, Orlando. I envy me too. I'm a pretty cool guy.